Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Nelco PM220 thermal label printer. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this comes with label tape, but they also sent me some other label tape, and we'll take a look at that. So on the side we have some features, it says portable, multifunction, inkless printing, computer connection, on the other side, it says iOS, Android, lithium battery, smart app, and we have some specs listed on the back. This is 203 DPI. The interface is Bluetooth or USB type C. It has the dimensions listed here, so it's 85 by 115 by 63 millimeters, so it's very small. Weight is 215 grams. Battery capacity is 1200 milliamp hours, and it comes with power cord and a roll of label tape. And the size of that tape is 50 by 30 millimeters. That's the label size. And then this one here is 40 by 30 millimeters. So I have two sizes here. So let's get this open. So here's a little quick card here. This talks about printing using Bluetooth. So you can print to this using portable devices like iOS and Android devices, but you can also print to this with USB using Mac and Windows. And here we have the manual. We'll take a look at that in a sec. Let's pull this out. Okay, so here we have the printer. You can see this easily fits in my hand. On the front, we have a USB type C port. On the bottom we have QR code for a tutorial and contact information. And then looks like the front opens up here where we have the label tape and we have a power and print button on the front. So we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. But let's take a quick look at the manual. So you'll want to read through this on your own. I'm just going to do an overview of it. So we have some tips here. Here we have some more specs. You can pause and read through those. It's mostly what was on the outside of the package. Here's a product overview. So we have the power button. The printer button is the feed button and it has a paper cutter on it. And here's a quick start guide. It says open the paper cover, place the label roll into the paper bin with the label side facing down and leave about 0.2 inches of the label sticking out before closing the cover. Press and hold the power button to turn on off. You can click the feed button when the device is on to feed the roll. And this talks about the app. So when you get in the app, you want to choose PM220. You go down and create new label. And I will go over this. So this talks about selecting the label size, using elements to create a label and printing the label. This talks about connecting with your computer. So you'll download the software on Nelco's website. Here it has some notes. This only prints in black. This has indicator lights and we have frequently asked questions, care and maintenance, cleaning and warranty. So let's get this charging. So it comes with a USB-A to USB Type-C cable. The USB-C will plug into the printer and you can plug the USB-A into the charger. So you can use a phone charger or a computer to charge this. You can see this is flashing here and it's charging at 0.87 amps. So while that's charging, let's download the app. So I'm going to be doing this on my iPad, but you could do this on an iPhone or Android phone. So I'll go down to search and I'll type in Nelco. In the upper right, we see the app. I'll hit get. So while that's going, I'll open this up and I'll get the label prepared. So it has a little tab here. Pull that. We'll stick the tape in. So this is adjustable. I'll press that in to make sure it's taking up slack. So I think that'll be good. The app's downloaded, I'll hit open. It says it would like to use Bluetooth, I'll say okay. It says connect now, so I'll turn this on. So I am going to unplug it. I'll hold down the power button. It beeped and the light is on. I'll hit connect now. It came up on my iPad, I'll hit click to connect. And it beeped and it looks like we're connected. So it has a login here, I'll skip this for now. So I should be able to create a label. So I'm actually going to try and push this one down. I think we can use that first label. Let me hit template. Let's scroll through here. Let's just print thank you. So thank you came up here. We'll hit print. We'll hit print. Okay, it printed thank you. So now I can tear this off. And we have our thank you label. So that was super fast. So we know it's printing now. So let's go back. So let's go to plus here and let's create a label. So I'll tap on text, I'll double click to edit and I'll type something out here. I'll say this belongs to Rick makes. Okay, it looks like I had text on there twice. So let me move this around so I can line it up with the left edge and then I can drag the right edge and if I touch the right side, it will be centered because we have centered selected at the bottom. Let's enlarge this, okay? So it automatically scales. That's nice. So we have some alignment tools at the bottom. We have text and font. Let's find a font. Okay, 
Okay, I found a font. So it has lots of font choices and they look very different from each other, which is nice. Sometimes when you look through fonts, it's hard to differentiate between them. I like the variety here. And it's also very responsive. As I was tapping through it, it was switching immediately. So that was very nice. So where it says style here, we can also tap spacing and we can adjust the height here. So we can have them overlap or we can give it more spacing. And we can adjust the kerning also. So let's go back to function area and let's get a picture. Uh, let's say material. Okay. Here we have a little alert icon. Let's go to a line here. And I'll pull it off to the side and I'll hit align center and it aligned it to the center. Let's just align the top one that way too. Okay, so we have both of these aligned centered. And I think I like that. So I'm going to hit print. It says print mode, text or picture. And we have our density. I'll just do the default there. So I'll hit print. Okay, there we have our label. This belongs to Rick Makes. So let's peel this off here. Okay, so we can feel that self-adhesive. I'm going to try to tear this. Okay, so this is a plasticky type of label. Let me really try and tear it. Okay, so this is not a flimsy paper label. This is super durable. Wow. I'll say that's very, very strong. I'm impressed with that. So if you're labeling something in a workshop or a kitchen, I'm guessing these are going to be relatively waterproof, meaning that if they get water on them, it's not going to absorb into them. I wouldn't put these through a dishwasher, but they seem like they're going to be pretty durable. So I'm going to hit back here and I'll hit save. And I'll just call this belongs. I'll hit confirm. It's saved. So let's go back. And now on the main page, we have my template and we have the label I created. So that's very nice. So let's try switching to the other label tape. So I'm going to pull this open, pull this out. I probably should have kept that little tab. I'll just use a rubber band here to hold that. So pull this open. So we'll place this in here and it looks like the left side is going to move over. So I'll place that down like so. Let's see if that's going to feed, yep. Okay, so let's go back into the software now. It says the label paper is different from what's in the printer. So I'll cancel that. So it automatically detected the size. So I'll hit plus and let's make a label for a kitchen. So we'll go to text, type there and I'll type flower. I added text, but we can just edit the text that's here already. So I'll just do that. Let's go to the font. Go with a nice script font. I want this to be nice and large. So I'll go to a line now and I will center it. Okay, let's try printing this. Okay, it printed. So here we have our label. So you can see the different sizes here. We have the 40 by 30 on the top and the 50 by 30 on the bottom. Let's say we're labeling everything in the kitchen. Let's make one for brown sugar. So I'll go back, I'll double tap on flour. I'll type in brown sugar. So this obviously does not look great. So I can just scale the font down. I want it to go near the edges of the label in proportion to the flower. So maybe about like that. I'll tap over on the line and I will line it up and down. I'll hit print, print. So it was that easy to make one for brown sugar. Of course I had to adjust the font, but you can see these labels match each other in font and they look like they go together. So I'm going to back out of this, I'll say don't save. So that was super easy to use with the app. It was very handy. I really like that this has the option of being wireless. So if you're in your kitchen, you may not want a wire hanging out of this while you're trying to label things. Since it has a battery in it, it can power itself and take out that complication. And then you can just use your phone or tablet to create your labels. Okay, so now let's test this out on a computer. I'm going to plug the printer into it using this USB cord. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Nelco website. I'll go to support and driver and user manual and I'll find the PM220. I'll click drivers. I'll click download Windows drivers. I'll download the file. I'll open it. I'll say run. I'll click through the installer. Now I'm going to click back. I'll go through that again. I'm going to go back to support. I'll click driver and user manual. This time I'll click app download. I'll scroll down to windows. I'll hit download. 
So now I'll run this software. I'll hit finish, close this. So now we have the label software up and we have the driver installed. So let's hit new here. And I have the 50 by 30 labels in. I'll call this gift label. I'll hit create. And now I can create a label here. So I have two mom from Rick makes. Now, as I drag this around, you can see the lines show up. So when it's centered, there's a dotted line that shows up in the center. If I move it to the left, when it's lined up with the from down here, you'll see that dotted line. So it has built in tools to help you align the different components. So let me select both of these and I will change the font. Let's find something gifty. Okay. Change the size here. So let's get a little icon here. Oh, here's one under baby. Let's do this one. Okay, so I'm going to select everything here and make sure it's aligned center. Let's go with that. So now I'll go to print. I'll select my printer, the PM220, and I'll hit print. And it looks like my print is off a bit. So I may have had some wrong settings in here. Looks like it's offset. So I'll change this offset to, so I say 10. Let's try that. That moved it to the wrong direction. Let's try the print mode as PDF beta. Let me go into template setting. There we go. So under template setting, it was set up as minus 10 for the offset. I'm not sure why, but here we have the label. Okay, I was messing around with that and it looks like my font is gone. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. I tried the PDF beta and that messed up the fonts, but I think I got it working now. So when it was printing offset, I went into that template setting and just changed the offset here to zero. I'm not sure why that was set up as minus 10. So if you have tags for lots of people, you can go in here, set them up, and you can easily click through this and change it for the next person and hit print. And then you could save this also. So having this connected to your computer, you could easily have a template for an address label or something, and you could easily paste that in here and print it out. We can also do things like generate barcodes and QR codes. So I'll delete these elements here. Of course, I could probably save this too if I wanted to reuse it. So on the left here, we have 1D, that's a barcode. Then 2D, we have QR code. So let's get rid of the barcode. Let's expand the QR code. And then over here to the side, we can enter in what we want for our QR code. So you could have this be a link or text, serial number, things like that. So I could type in here Rick makes, and this would be my Rick makes QR code. So now I can drag this and it will give me little lines here, letting me know it's centered. So now I'll print it out. So here we have my QR code. If you scan this, it says Rick makes, and it's super sharp. Okay, so I went over how to set this up on an iPad and a PC. So now let's create a couple labels. I have this container here with almonds in it. So I'll create a label for it. Okay, so that was super quick. So you can put that on the container. Now maybe that's not the best example because it's probably obvious there's almonds in here. This would make more sense for things like flour, sugar, baking soda, but you get the idea. Here I have a battery. I'm going to install this in a water alarm. So I want to know when I installed it. So let's create a label for it. So we create a new label. So I'll hit time here and let's rotate this and we will shrink this down. Let's do that like so and we'll print that. So here we have a date stamp and I could have put on there date installed or something, but I can take this now and place it on the battery. There we go. Now we know when that battery was installed. Here I have a power adapter for a Fire TV recast. So typically when this is plugged in, it's around other power adapters. So it would be nice having a label on it. So I'll switch over to the larger labels. I'll back out of here. I'll create a new label. It automatically knows the size. I like that font there. I'll hit align, center it on here, 
can probably make it even a little bigger. We'll go with that and I'll print it. So now I can place that on here so I'll know exactly what device this transformer goes to. So that's the Nelco PM220 Thermal Label Printer. If you like to label and stay organized, I think this is a great tool to have. I like how easy it is to use. The app was very intuitive, so you can combine elements on it, you can set alignment and things like that, and then it prints super fast. So one day you might be in the kitchen labeling everything, later you might be replacing the batteries in your smoke detectors, or creating labels for Christmas gifts, and you can set up templates for those things so you can easily batch them out. And while you can have this connected to a computer, I think this really shines when you're using it in the portable mode where you just have it connected to a phone or tablet. That way you can just take this right to where you're working. You don't have to run back and forth to a computer. So that can make it very efficient. So I only showed a small bit of the capabilities of this. There are many more options that I didn't cover in the app, but this would really be limited by your imagination. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.